Hey guys, what's up? Connor here from TPGS, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to use cPanel emails with Outlook 2010. Uh, this is particularly for web hosts that don't want to keep logging into cPanel um, to access their emails and just want to open up a client on the desktop and do it that way for you. So, first thing we need to do is we do need to log into cPanel initially, just to get things going. We're going to find the Mail tab and click on Email Accounts. Now the domain you'll see here will be at and then whatever domain you had to begin with. So in this case it's freebieplace.co.uk which is just a, a little domain we bought ages ago. So I'm just going to call this test account and then set the password. Now you can usually leave this as unlimited um, if you want to, if this is going to be your main email. I'm going to delete this email after I finish so that the quota doesn't really bother me. If you leave it as 250 megabytes, once that email box becomes greater than 250 megabytes worth of data, it will start to close and bounce emails back and that kind of thing. So just be wary about that. You can probably get away with leaving this as unlimited if you wanted to. So we hit create account. TPAN is going to do its thing and give us the details there. Now you can access the server settings by clicking on more and configure email clients and this is going to give you a list of all the kind of uh, manual settings that you want to use. Don't necessarily need to bother with the automatic applications. Um, I've never found them to work. Um, so we're going to go and do it manually. Now I tried this before I had an issue connecting um, so I'm going to be using my SSL um, settings. You can use your incoming mail server settings if you want. Um, I would try those first, but if not, go for the SSL ones. So, with that said, we're going to go to File, we're going to Add Account, and we're going to put this is gonna, the one that's going to pop up for us. All we're going to do here is we're going to click on Manually Configure Server Settings and then click Next. Leave it on Internet Email and hit Next, and then fill in the information here. So we'd highlight test account and it was test account at freebieplace.co.uk. Now if it doesn't work initially um, from POP3 you can change this to IMAP. Tend just to leave it at POP3 for now. POP3 is like a, the better version. It doesn't um, leave things on the server. It, it deletes them from the server and um, it gets them all from the server itself. So the incoming mail server, I'm going to type in my SSL and the email address, now it, sorry the username is, is the full email address but for me uh, it tends to work with a plus as opposed to the at symbol. So if you have any issues with this when you try and put it in with the at um, then do change the at symbol to a plus for some reason it tends to like that. Now straight away if I try this it's probably going to fail. Is it or is it allowing me to do it? No, that's it. Oh, it's no. It's, is it going to do it? This failed before so maybe it'll do it, maybe it won't. Yep, that's done it more than fine. So test it with that. If it doesn't work, go into more settings and you may have to uh, change the outdoor and server settings. So normally you would click that your server requires SMTP authentication. If you put your SSL server in um, and your account with the plus, and it does it the same way, you don't have to worry about that. But if it doesn't work, do try going into more settings, click an outgoing server tab, click on my server requires SMTP authentication, and then use the same email mail and password. It will still uh, log in in the same way and then still connect. So hopefully, she's going to finish sending the test email. Takes a couple seconds. And that is done. So we can hit close, hit finish, and then our account appears on the side. We can click on our account, uh, go to our inbox, and it's going to try and sync up all the emails as well. So that is how you do it. That is how you go and get your account synced from your cPanel to your email address um, in Hotmail. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. It really does help us out. Uh, Daniel is going to be working on some more gaming videos, and we're hopefully going to be trying out a new playthrough system um, a new playthrough kind of game system in the near future so keep an eye out for that but thanks again for watching if you have any questions leave a comment in, but down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can